Welcome everyone to Red, Red Redemption. Anyway, um, I don't have a whole lot of time right now, but I needed to uh, at least get a little bit of this captured. Otherwise, I never would have had a chance to get around to it. So I just need to get it started. Uh, welcome to my playthrough of Red Dead. I have not played this game in a good while. Wait a second. How do I start a new game? I want to start a new game. Yes! Create a new save game. Perfect. Awesome. Sweet. Sweet. Okay, this is good. This is good. Anyway, um, yeah, welcome to, welcome to Red Dead. I don't know why I have my headset on. I'm using it for no apparent reason. Um, so anyway, Exodus in America. Red Dead Redemption, probably one of my favorite games that I've played in a long time. I, like, I played a lot of it when it came out. And of course, it's been sitting on my shelf for the past like two years maybe, and I haven't really played it that much, so it's gonna be good to get back to it. Yep, oh, there he is, John Marston. I don't have subtitles on this yet. Extra, 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 read all about it. John Marston. I'm surprised they let him carry a gun. Rockstar Games presents Down down here. Come on, John. A Rockstar San Diego production. Blackwater Station. Here we go, hopping on the train. Come on, John. Red Dead Redemption! Title screen! I remember when I first watched this, um, and it took me a forever to figure out that, uh, Everything that happens in this cutscene is like places you are able to go to. <laughs> like it took me forever to figure that out. And then I was at one point, I for one am grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us. Please, how we help the nation. This savage yes, land. They've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. But father, do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, yeah. they lived like animals, but they're happier now. John just sitting there is like, ugh. And through the tunnel. Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels. We'll be able to fly. Hey, there's Bonnie McFarlane. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor, which is why he's so concerned with. I'm gonna have to turn subtitles on. State. Nate Johns. Yes, his family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. Turn my monitor up a little bit. Hopefully, it doesn't pick up too much on my mic. Not be ruled by such a disgusting family. 
A family without class. Apparently. But John's family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. Many things money cannot buy. <laughs> what you here must we go. remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. Yeah, there's it Bonnie. Is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other. And who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. Armadillo. Armadillo. Okay, John. Time to get to work. We're here in Armadillo. Okay, let me just check something really quick. Bum 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 ba bum. Um I probably should get casual on this. I didn't even know you could adjust all this stuff. Um uh, Display, come on, yeah, there it is, there subtitles, yeah, yeah. Okay, sweet. Oh, look, you can adjust all this stuff. Cheats. Cheat codes. Okay, here we go. Man, it's been a while since I've played this. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to draw that gun. Let's go to that there saloon, that guy's drunk. Wait a second, wasn't he outside the first time I played this game? You must be John Marston. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends, but pleased to meet you, Jake. I got Here, now I'll turn it down a little bit more. Ready out front. I just don't want to catch it up on the mic too much. Look at that old-fashioned saloon. Follow Jake to the horses. Okay, Jake, where we going, man? Where we going, man? You're gonna get us both in a world of trouble, Mr. Marston, as we get out of town. Oh, the deadly... Yeah, that's right, I do well, here, have that let's other... Let's mount up and hit the trail. Give Let's go, let's go. Easy on the spurs now. We don't need to draw undue attention. Fort Mercer. What are we supposed to do? How do I um? How do I tell the horse to? No, that's the horse to jump. Do you want to visit? That's right. Ain't taking nobody up to the fort in a long time. Strange place for a Oh no, no. Nope, nope. If you don't mind, Miss. Let's go. You got a problem with that saddle, Mister Marshall? Oh, there we go. Right that. bumper. That's right. You said I was a decent fella. It's been abandoned for years now. Both Bay was built during the Mexican War. What kind of soldiers around back then? Why'd they leave? I ain't entirely sure. I, I heard they had to go up north to fight Indians, or maybe they got tired of being soldiers and went looking for gold. You know how things is. You know how the things so is. The fort? I'm looking for an old friend. Well, like I says, you ain't gonna find. Like I says. <laughs> Don't you do fight about a sociable as an old three to back to you? <laughs> I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. Been a long time, Jake. Hey-ya, hey-ya. 
This is what I love about Red Dead. I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Uh. Not like thieves landing. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> okay, you sicko. Okay, so we're at Mercer Station now. It means we gotta be close to Fort Mercer. I remember it being up here somewhere. Yeah. It's been a while since I. Oh, it was the marshal who hired me, Lee Johnson. Do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guide. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. Yeah, it's none of your business, sir. Yep. None of your business, yep. Mister. Just gotta go over here. 